Hey, how y'all doing today? I have a word for somebody. I have a testimony, first of all. Um, you know how we uh, go through trials and tribulations and we trust in God for the outcome, for a rewarding outcome. Whatever his will is, we're, we're trusting God for his will to be done. Well, I purchased a uh, G refrigerator and the people delivered it, hooked it up, and um, it's not cooling. Of course, G has their, their own policy as far as the refrigerator, You're checking the damages and stuff. I got it through my um, my appliance insurance that I have for my house because my old one went out, so I got the GE in the replace of the old refrigerator that I had. But uh, I had it for a week. Friday would be a week, and it's not cooling. Now, G sent a serviceman out. He couldn't repair it because he wasn't able to um, actually correct what has been done. He had to get someone else to do it, another company to do it. But when I called this morning to check on the status of everything, it's just, it's like it's just sitting on somebody's desk. Nobody's moving on it. So I called the next person um, above them and I got some assistance this morning. And I talked to the guy and I told him, you know, I could have easily lied and said that I have uh, food spoiled from a week. But uh, I wasn't going to go that route because I, I trust in God for the outcome or whatever the outcome may be. I trust that his will would be for my good because of who I am in him. So I got to a guy this morning, the guy that I talked to, he told me he's putting in the order and he said that they would just replace the refrigerator. Instead of just getting it replaced, placed, they wanted to fix the refrigerator and it was already damaged when they brought it. But I'm just saying this, I'm coming to say this, tell somebody. You can say you trust God all day, but if you're not willing to ride it all the way, if you're not willing to trust him, in his timing. You've already defeated. The trusting him. Is where the strength. And the harvest come from. When we trust him. We can say we need this and we need this all day. But if we don't trust God enough to know that God is going to come through for us. We don't have any trust. We don't trust God. And I trust him. Whatever outcome it may be, I trust him. And I, I wrote it out to the end. But they're going to bring me a new refrigerator. But I, somebody may be going through something. Whatever it is, it ain't a good feeling. I made a post today about being in, uh, being in a season in your life and you waiting and you waiting and you waiting for the Lord to move. And uh, and. It's just like he, he, he's still, he's standing still, but he's trying to see. He already know now he don't have to try to see, but he's allowing you to wait upon him. He's allowing you to prove yourself in who he is in your life. And if you can't go through the dry season, and if you can't go through the seat, the seasons of a rigmarole, like the old people would say, if you can't go through those seasons, you're not a warrior. You have to war it out to the end. No matter what comes, you're going to have to say, I'm going to ride it out to the end. I don't know how it's going, what's going to happen, but I'm going to ride it out because I trust God in the situation. I don't know what you all are facing, but don't give up. Ride it out. Trust God when you can't find it. Trust him. Trust him for your situation. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, thanks for watching.